Okay, so we're going to talk a minute about how to finish, uh, to present something or to frame it or to sew it on, anything, just to finish these. Um, so if I was finished with this one, uh, which I'm not, I would then take it out and I would cut probably about an inch to maybe three quarters of an inch all the way around this. Okay, so what I'm doing is taking the excess off. Um, so from this one. So like this particular one, you can see that it was punched and then that's the back. Back's got to look just as good as the front. And this right here is about, you know, an inch all the way around there, okay? And I usually have an ironing board and an iron running at the same time because what I would like to do is that I am taking this and I'm folding this all the way down and I'm, cr I'm pressing this with the iron so that it's flat. I don't want to see this part outside of the actual uh, piece that's been punched. I just want to see the little loops, okay? Now, some people will take here at the corner. All right, so from the corner aspect here, there's two different ways you can do it. Once you've cut the remaining uh, fabric off and you've pressed it here, and then I actually did this side and pressed it here, you can take your scissors and you can actually just cut, don't cut all the way down to here. But what I'm doing is I'm just going to take the excess corner off. It just creates less bulk. Okay, so once this has been folded and creased, this side's been folded and creased. You can see that this corner, I've folded it in. I've just folded it in. And this part goes here, this part goes here, and then I press really, really well like that. You just want to see the actual threads. Um, I've done this this particular one I'm going to put it on a piece of felt and I did the same thing I did a different kind of corner here and then what I'm doing is when I put this down I'm actually going to sew this to the very corner or to the very seam here and I've done that right here um, so as you can see there's it's it's not going to come off so I've actually gone through and I've just done a hidden stitch in here and this this piece will just lay flat on a table um, because it's an aerial view of what's going on and we do have this kit okay um, and there's no really right way or wrong way all right there's a couple of more that I've done but I didn't take the time to sew it on the actual pieces so I made one for the woolery and um, this one is actually on a board and in Kentucky you have tons of fence boards and that's actually what this is it's a fence board and it's just a it's cut to fit but if you if I peel this up you would see where this has been folded over um, if you don't have a hot glue gun get one that's your friend and I literally hot glued uh, the section here oh I've lost my corner here I would just take this put some hot glue here and hold that down without burning your fingers and then I actually glue it to the board that's real simple um, it's not meant to be anything more than that okay um, this one here is actually uh, it's it's floor it's molding for the uh, not shoe molding but um, it's near the doorways where you actually have uh, in the older homes you had really deep uh, molding that went at the bottom and um, I found this in a salvage place and I sanded it down this one is actually another kit and my hot glue gun I glued it right down and on the back I just put a little um, thing to hang it with so it's real simple um, but these make great gifts and um, uh, I hope you try it I said it's a great 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 fun. So you have different methods to finish it. You can put them in picture frames if you want to. Um, but that's just some suggestions.